Kiora G'day, bonjour, hi, I'm Michaela and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to be making something super easy, super delicious. It's almond bark and I used to make this all the time. I keep it in my freezer and when people come over, you just pull it out. It's a no brainer. Now you can fill it not just with almonds, you can use dried fruit. I like to make it also with dried apricots. You can mix the fruit and the nuts together. It's just what your preference is. So it's really two ingredients. I take a good quality Swiss dark chocolate and I melt it in the microwave. Now I've just done it and I love melting chocolate in the microwave because it gets the perfect consistency. So this is about four times. I put it on the first time on 40 seconds and then I stir it and then I do 30 seconds stir it, 30 seconds stir it and I did that four times and I have beautiful, beautiful chocolate here. I don't add anything else to the chocolate. I know you can add a little oil, which will make it nice and glossy. I don't. And then all you're gonna do is take some almonds. Now I keep mine in an airtight container in the fridge. I usually dry roast them myself. This bag happens to be dry roasted already and it had a little bit of salt in it. So actually that's gonna give it really nice flavor. You can sprinkle some Himalayan salt at the end if you want on top. I mean, really use your imagination. So I'm not even gonna measure it. Sorry, I'm just gonna start off with some and you wanna mix it all together so the almonds are all coated in the chocolate. Now you don't wanna have tons of chocolate sitting there, so you wanna add the almonds here right now. If there's more chocolate than almonds, I can add more almonds. So I'm gonna add a few more. There's probably, I don't know, cup and a half of almonds in here. You'll see, depending on how much chocolate you use, I used an, a bar of chocolate, a bar and a tiny bit I had left over from another one. So I'll just put that down as the measurement. Um, but you'll see, so there we go. It's like nice and thick with the nuts and the chocolate. I'm just wondering, do I want, you don't want to add too many nuts or, okay. So then all you do is you're going to take a, a tray that's lined with um, parchment paper and spread it out on the tray and it's going to go into the freezer. I put mine in the freezer until it sets and then when it sets I'm going to break it into pieces and keep it in an airtight container back in the freezer. It won't go white in the freezer if it's in an airtight container um, and I don't think it will last long enough to uh, sit there for a long time anyway. So like I said, go crazy with your combinations. You can add coconut. We just like plain almond bark. Um, and then just spread it out. You don't want it too thin and you don't want it too thick either. So you've got to kind of find that right. So there's no white bits of the parchment paper showing. I'm just going to spread it out more because I can actually get more in here. There we go. Just going to kind of play around with that so it spreads nicely and then you'll be able to break it up into nice pieces. And this is just like the easiest thing to make and it's just so, so good. And every time someone buys it for me, I'm thinking, I could just make this. I haven't made it in so long. I, you can do it with raisins as well. It's really nice chocolate with raisin, chocolate covered raisins, or dried, or like the apricots. I do like it with apricots. You can mix and match. You can just do it separately. You can make different batches. What do you, I think Suma wants some as well, but dark chocolate and dogs is not a good combination. All right, so just don't leave any holes in your, as you're cutting it out. It'll be too thin otherwise, and it really, it's not going to break up into nice chunks. And there we go. So I'm going to pop this in my freezer, and then I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like when it's all done, and we'll break it up into pieces. So I'm back. It's been sitting in the freezer, and as you can see, it's one big slab, and it's set really nicely. So all you want to do, see it's one big slab, is just break it. This is the fun part. Just break it into different pieces. And it's it's almond bark, so it's meant to be. If it's too thick, the chocolate, you will have a harder time cutting it. So this part's a little bit too thick. 
but you want to break them up into like pieces different sizes and then just pop them in the freezer and you can see the beautiful almonds there so there you go almond bark super easy enjoy